final phase of creating a nano server actually I should say the second to final phase is to create the image itself after the modules have been imported we're gonna go nano server path will be where we retrieve the installation media from base path will be default target path will be our Computer name will be VHD. I'm sorry. Nano server five. Uh, we'll specify OEM drivers. Compute and then clustering. And we will let that puppy run. So, that is how you create a nano server. And just to show you what a nano server looks like at the end, since we already have one created, it's very similar to server core but more lightweight so what are we exactly exactly doing um, the purpose of a nano server is uh, we can use it for a number of scenarios it is limited in what you can do with it but also has several advantages uh, such as a computing host for hyper-v virtual machines clusters or not uh, storage hosts for scaling out file servers, DNS servers, a web server running IIS, so informa Internet Information Services, a host for applications that are developed using cloud application patterns and run in a virtualized container. Uh, containerization is the key for nano servers, and I'll actually be exploring Docker containers and Kubernetes. I love to say that word, Kubernetes, here in the upcoming video. Uh, so this is perfect for uh, uh, optimizing uh, your servers and for private clouds and data centers. Um, it's significantly smaller, so there's no local logon. It only supports 64-bit applications, uh, tools, and agents, but it takes less disk space and is significantly faster. And requires far fewer updates and restarts than your traditional Windows server, which is what we have over here. So I knew I kind of ran through that really fast, and I apologize. But I'm kind of at a time limit here for this, so please bear with me. But we have our refurbished uh, host machine up and running. Seems to be doing great. So we will... Uh, the, the next phase of this is to attach this virtual hard disk for the nano server to a new virtual machine, and we'll do that uh, in the next upcoming video. So thank you very much, and have a good night.